Look towards the camera and blow a little kiss since we're now videoing you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, people are going to see why I love my job now. All right, so we ready? Yep. Wait, let me just unflick it. <laughs> <laughs> G'day friends, it's Andrew Goodall here again from Nature's Image Photography and today I'm going to be doing a portrait shoot on the Panasonic Lumix G9. Uh, I'm going to be talking you through camera settings and techniques. Before we get started, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's the best way to stay in touch with uh, what comes up. I'm always doing something on the, uh, the G9, there's always more content on the way. So hit subscribe and it's the best way to keep in touch. Now for my um, uh, video today, I've been joined by the lovely Keisha and the lovely Lucy and we're going to be doing a portrait shoot at the Noosa Botanic Gardens which is a new place for me I've never shot here before so it's going to be an adventure for all of us uh, now there'll be links to both Keisha and Lucy their Instagram pages on the um, information below in the description so um, check them out um, they're girls with a big future so uh, you want to stay in touch with what they're up to as well um, so we'll be looking at some camera settings and some functions I'm going to talk you through uh, the autofocus methods and that sort of thing uh, and we're also going to shoot a bit of behind the scene so you can really get a look at what it's like uh, shooting a video. Uh, I'll be using the Panasonic Lumix G9 and uh, almost the entire shoot is likely to be done on the Olympus uh, 45mm f1.8 lens. Uh, it's the lens I use for pretty much all these uh, uh, portrait shots. Uh, so we're going to get started, uh, enjoy and um, we'll show you the photos when we get to the end. Woo! Yay! Yay! <laughs> So before we get started with the photo shoot, here's a bit of essential information that I recorded mostly before the girls arrived. I'm using my Panasonic Lumix G9 of course with the Olympus 45mm f1.8 portrait lens. This is the lens I use for almost all my portraits. It's tiny but it packs a punch. At f1.8 it lets in plenty of light allowing me to shoot handheld and when I'm close to the subject it produces beautiful soft backgrounds for a classic portrait look. Now, let's take a look at how I set up the camera for most of my portraits. Looking at the back of the camera, you can see I have my image stabiliser on and I have a fully charged battery. That's important because I can easily shoot several hundred photos in a good afternoon. Pressing the function 2 button takes me into the quick menu, but there's really nothing here I need to change. I could play around with photo styles or white balance, but there's really no need because I shoot raw files, so I can easily make all those adjustments later. Like much of my photography, I like to shoot my portraits using the high speed burst drive mode and I've assigned that to the second position on the drive mode dial. That's the one that uses the mechanical shutter and shoots up to 12 frames per second. The shutter button on the G9 is such a light touch that even if I press quickly and lightly I always get two or three shots per press. And that works for me because in each quick sequence there are little variations that sometimes make one shot stand out above the rest. What I really want to point out here is the autofocus method. I have to choose an autofocus mode and an autofocus area mode. So first I switch to AFC or autofocus continuous. That means the focus follows the subject as long as I keep my finger on the button. Then I use the function 1 button to select the face eye body detect area mode. This feature is the reason I enjoy using the G9 so much for portraits. I like to let a model move freely and be able to snap when I like what I see. To me that's far more spontaneous than having to always ask a model to stop and hold that pose so I can get them in focus. Combined with continuous autofocus, it really gives the model the chance to express herself while I just keep doing what I do best. So Keisha, you do your thing and the people watching the video will be able to see that the focus keeps on shifting. As you move around, uh, the little reticule stays on your face. Um, we're in AFC, which means the camera keeps on continuously focusing on you as you move. Um, and that means that uh, I can just keep on uh, pressing the button and shooting, let you do your thing, I do mine, and we don't have to do a stop-start shoot where I'm constantly asking you to stop. So it's a brilliant way to um, uh, let the, sh the shoot just keep on going, because uh, I can focus, I can shoot, you can pose, we both do what we do. Just walk a little closer and people can see. Beautiful. Okay, so now we've got two faces on the screen and you can see I've got two squares uh, following them. As they move around it just keeps on fo uh, refocusing to, to follow the girls. Just come a little closer and you can see again I can rely on that beautiful AFC and the, the face eye body detect 
to, uh, to keep them in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, it's time to get on with the shoot. So now I want to show you some of my favourite photos and share the settings I used. And for people who don't know how I do things, all my photos are taken in fully manual exposure. And that means I choose the aperture, the shutter speed and even the ISO myself. Nothing is automatic and that's just the way I like it. Now enjoy some beautiful shots of two beautiful young ladies. <laughs> <laughs>